Not, yeah, that's actually that's not, a, a that's not like really a stretch that yeah. you've seen there. あの時事故に遭った時車が突っ込んでくるのを見たはるかが自分のことはお構いなしに体を張って守ったものがあるまさかそんなこの子はハルカの子だなら父親はこの子の父親は誰なんだハルカの価値ってのは何だあの子の父
Live, coming at you live. It's we're actually live a Friday night. Earlier. We're a little bit live earlier, and we're just talking under a video. Sorry about that. <laughs> you guys can all hear us. Yeah, um, check it. Uh, happy Friday. Welcome happy to, Friday. Welcome to the stream. We're actually kind of like, our, our, we need to fix our, oh. our thing over here. I think a little bit. Twitch chat talking about the best song on Friday night. That's right. We're up to zero. Uh, happy Friday, guys. Welcome to the uh, Sega live stream. Uh, my name's Sam Mullen. I am the, what am I, the chairman of the Sega localization <laughs> family. Yep. And I am Scott Strickhart, patriarch of the Yakuza series, localization uh, family. Uh, we are T minus how many days here? Uh, it's like seven plus four, so that's like 11 days, I think. Something like that, yeah. 11 days to the launch of Yakuza 6. Uh, and we're super hyped. We know you're super hyped. Um, but what are we doing today, man? We are back who, in Yakuza who 5. Who is this woman? <laughs> uh, I just I just saw her name in the text, now I forgot it. It's uh, uh, Flat River. Flat River. Hidakawa. Her name is Hidakawa. Uh, we're playing Yakuza 5 today, yep. today guys. We, uh, Still in Kiryu's chapter. If you, um, you, if you watched last week, you know that we started playing Yakuza 5, um, and we're, we're leading up to Yakuza 6. We're going to play a little bit more of Yakuza uh, Kiryu's story today. Um, and then next week, leading right into the Yakuza 6 launch, we're going to um, uh, play some Haruka, actually. Yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. So we got to power through this. Let's get started. Let's get going. Let's go. So what are we doing? What are we doing? We're, uh, we, have a, we have a taxi request coming in. Last week we found out that Kiryu is a taxi driver hiding out in Fukuoka, but the Tojo clan is here too, and Daigo is here, and there's devil killers. Devil and killers. <laughs> Initial, initial D taxi racing. And we used our turn signal and we did some math live. You missed it if you, you missed it. Yeah, week. yeah, you gotta go you back and live you math. some live math. Do we still have that, that our work here? <laughs> so I think someone came in and cleaned it up. Oh. Uh, whatever. But uh, thinking, man. We're thinkers. We yeah. think. Thinking we is good. It. Thinking is it. good. Um, yeah. It's almost here, man. Yeah, it's time. It's time. It's time. It is time for Yakuza 6. I'm to really play. excited to start talking about Kiwami 2, but like, it feels like I'd be that asshole that's like talking about dessert before yeah. dinner's on the right, table. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the chef! This is the, this is the, oh, the so, real yeah, chef. Yeah, okay, so people don't really realize this, but this guy is like a real like Iron Chef kind of person or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and he was one of the cameo appearances for this game, um, which, because I think that kind of, the ball in that sort of started, so like the real person appearances in the game, like really kind of started, I want to say, with Yakuza 3, because they had like the real models, the real who did, who did we get? Oh, wait, no, 3? I think so, because those were who the bait for 3. Who was the girls? Oh, the girls! Because you guys, right. they didn't show up in there, that we didn't do in that. We didn't even do it. We didn't do Sorry, it. Sorry, we weren't here. <laughs> yeah, um, so so the I think that was the first game in the series that had like real people. So I don't. You guys can correct me on this because you guys, like, the fans, always know better than the people who are actually working on the game sometimes. But I'm pretty sure like Yakuza Three had the first kind of like real people in the game, and then Yakuza yeah. Four was the first game that had like a main character that was based on, on on a real person, um, and then they started kind of get that got that going. So in Yakuza Five, they had one of the guys they had is this uh, Tatsuya, this kind of Iron Chef type dude. Um, cool this. So, what's Mizutake? Water? You know, I'm not really actually sure. It's um, I think it's like a local. It might be like a local thing. Oh, let's look it up, man. Yeah. I'll look it up. Guys, post, post. I would say post pictures of Mizutake, but I uh, kind of also don't want you guys post pictures in the chat. But let's see. <laughs> I think I know what it is, but I don't want. I don't want. You know, put my foot in my mouth. Live research. This is the kind of stuff that happens on localization when we hit. This is exactly uh, what happens. So, 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 you hit so. Mizutaki and you're like, I don't know what that is. To the internet! It's like, uh, kind of like, uh, you can't even see this, guys. I'm sorry. It's like a soup broth. Uh, that has like, um, it kind of looks like hot pot. It's like kind of like a hot pot sort of thing. Like a, like a nabe? Yeah, like a nabe. See, yeah, yeah. See, there you go right there. They got some nabe going on. It looks like a home-cooked meal. Let's go! I can't wait to taste it for itadakimasu. Yeah, I mean, that's a good one. Yeah, itadakimasu, that's right. And, you know, it was like, I remember this one, Yeah, we, we discussed on our previous um, uh, episode, but like, uh, being that I used to live in Onomichi, there was like this long discussion about how to, how to render all the 
food oh, that's in oh, Onimichi. Yeah, in food English. is one of the biggest arguments we have here on the localization. Yeah, because because it's really hard. It's like, do you use the word? Do you use the Japanese word, or do you use an interpretation of the right. Japanese word? So takoyaki or octopus balls. Yeah, like okonomiyaki or Japanese sa- sa- savory pancake. Yeah, you know, like what do you kind of what do you go with? Um, and there's definitely been a been a change over time about like what's appropriate there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough though. We still fight. We still fight about it. Yeah, like rice. Like the big one is like when is it appropriate to say rice ball and when is it appropriate to say onigiri? <laughs> right. Right. Which one? I mean, like. I, I would think that most of the Yakuza fans would, would actually be like, we of course Onigiri, but I'd, I'd be interested. You guys tell us, what do you think in the chat? Yeah, the Yakuza guys, fans are always going to lean toward, yeah. use, the, use the original. We know, like, well, we know, our, we know our audience. So. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but there's also some people, I think, who, come in, who are coming into the series brand new. Yeah. Um, Especially with the, you know, yeah, you, recently, and you don't want to scare people off either. You don't yeah, want to be like, it's, it's, it's a hard, so it's densely a hard, Japanese. It's a hard line to it is. But the cool thing about this game is that, like, you know, usually when you're just using, uh, like, text menus, like if you're playing, like, a 3DS game or something like that, you can't just, like, throw Onigiri out there with no, like, context. Because you're just like, what even is that? Is that. Is that a is that a weapon? <laughs> you know, you know what what is it? It could be in this game though. It could be, but but in this game, for all the um all the food has like pictures associated with it, right? So you can always like say the word, but then there's like this nice photo of like what you're talking about, mm-hmm. so you can actually yeah, and, and a description under right there. It's like onigiri, like rice wrapped in seaweed. That's gonna be super oh, that's tasty. right. Yeah, we, yeah, we and, and that was another thing we always we were saying like always describe what the food is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sometimes, yeah, I think I feel like we even th- sometimes throw out the Japanese for the descriptions just to be like, let's let's describe yeah. what this food is. Yeah, eat your cheeseburgers, Apollo. Good, good one. <laughs> good one, trash can fighter. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. Onigiri heat move win, right? Get on that, dev team. Uh, I don't know what to get, uh, stuff it in the mouth like the orange. Oh, no, 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 here's it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I got it. Here's, the, here's the onigiri heat move, all right? Kiryu pulls out like a steaming hot onigiri and he throws it to the guy, and the guy's like, oh, oh, hot onigiri, and as it's like floating up in the, in the, in the air, Kiryu like punches it into his face. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, I'm all about that. That's, that's my onigiri heat move. Good thing we're not on the heat move development yeah. team. <laughs> it's kind of a hot, like a hot, hot, hot potato kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever made out onigiri from scratch, man? It's, it, no. It, it hurts, dude. <laughs> it's like you got this hot. It's hard. You you gotta use like saran wrap sometimes. Uh, don't get Sam started talking about Miku. Who, who's t- don't, don't don't say the M word. <laughs> <laughs> How was that translated? Uh, I don't. Same way we translate most games. <laughs> oh, here's here's our boys. Suzuki Taichi-san. This name. Oh no. The they, came, boys. they came looking for him. Yeah. This is where they go down to the bridge, right? I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought he said that they were going to dust your car, man. Yeah, yeah, dust your car, dude. The cars, the Japanese taxis are always, like, super clean. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. They yeah. Can... I know that's Aizawa. Who's this dude? A- Ayama? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. Caught him, calling you him out. Drop the wrong name now, guys! With, yeah, but the, he should have known that, Tojo man. Tojo Clan! Oof. <sighs> uh, <laughs> Oof. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, I, but that's so translator's note, Frankie. I don't, I don't want to roll yeah, like, you can't do it. like that. Yeah, you can't Parentheses, do that. Parentheses. Yeah. This is a rice ball. Like yeah, no translator's note. It's not, it's not clean. <laughs> it seems like a good idea, but then when you put it in game and every, and and it's like you have to do that with literally every word you use. Yeah. But then you, but then it's like well we used to hear but not there, and then it feels like that's that's the difference. Morinaga, thank you. That's the um, that's the difference between sort of like like casually tra- like like fan sub. Fan subs yeah, and like professional and, translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't, note. we can't translators note. <laughs> I can't translators note. None of you. Suddenly, you're going to go to Omoi Just want to get involved in localization. No, no, don't ask that one either. How, how does one get involved? In localization? <laughs> it's all by chance. We just actually answered this question in a 
uh, destructoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, yeah, there's a yeah. Go, so there, were, there was an interview posted maybe like two days ago uh, where a friends over at uh, Destructoid like kind of interviewed us and we kind of get into that about how we got into globalization. Yeah, but they did it in an interesting way. Like we gave them like a fully fledged like interview and the guy like paraphrased everything kind of, like, and like talked about how we. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Uh, go check it out. Um, how do you get to localization, though? I have no idea. You fall into it, literally. You, into it. you either have to be, but but the the base, the I guess the the most critical part of localization is that you have to be in some way a linguist. Mm -hmm. You have to be. That's, that's that's actually a great way to say that. You have to be like into language. That's like on the d English or the or, or the, the Japanese the side. The source or the target yeah. language. Um, but uh, I think uh, in most like I like our organization is kind of unique because usually um, like in most localization scenes you have to be bilingual. But we actually employ uh, English writers on our side uh, to kind of. Flesh out the text, and so that's sort of unique in on the Alice, Alice skill set. So. Ageist? How do we sound ageist in that interview? Ageist? What does that even mean? It means like, like, uh, uh, racist against young people? <laughs> to, use, to colloquialize it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's re they're referring to the fact that how we, like, back in the day, it was done this way, and now it's, things are done a little differently. Uh, I think, uh, but I, I, I think we, that's not ageist, that's just recognizing that things change over time. True. Like, that's a, that's a reality, guys. Yeah. Like, things change over time. You know? It would be ageist to say graphics are better. Graphics things. Uh, graphic, yeah, graphics things are, are, better, are better. Better, better now than you know. Water is better now. You guys, someone's just talking about why the water is ugly here. Have you seen the water in Y6? It's beautiful. Oh my god. god. They literally they released a video that was just like, look how dope our look, water is. Look at the water. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't release that here. It's a great video because like, it was basically Kiryu <laughs> standing on this dock <laughs> and he like spins a dude and just throws him in the water <laughs> so he can see like the ripples and all that. It's like part of the. I'm, I speak Japanese, uh, so to answer Sonic Kick's question, I sp I'm fluent Japanese and Scott is not. Uh, Correct. I was, uh, what am I doing here? But, 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 but you do, but he's, uh, you kind of like, like learned some Japanese by osmosis at this point. I have. You can't work at a Japanese company for super long and uh, not eventually pick up some Japanese. So. So what are they, we were like talking over these guys. What do these guys want from Kidu here? They though? just admitted that Daigo has gone missing. Oh, and he that, was that's last right. seen in, right. in Taichi Suzuki's set taxi. Oh, okay. Daigo is missing. Dun, dun, dun. All right, all right. Right, well, we, can't, we can't be going along without the leader at the helm. You know? Yep. This is bad news. Bad timing for the Daigo to go missing. Daigo, why? So someone's asking, this is a good question from, from Bio Con Poly. He's asking, like, were there any situations, like, moments or substories where we had to change, totally change up the original dialogue to make it work in English? Um, I can't help but think that there's probably, like, There are spot. situations where that happens, but now we're, like, we're spit, like, this game, for this series in particular, that's, like, my last resort. Yeah. Like, I never want to change the dialogue just yeah. to make it. And we sometimes have to sit down. Like, we have discussions about this, and, like, our, our team members will actually sit down and be like, okay, let's work through this figure out how we're going to do it. So Japanese puns, I think, are, are like, the limit of where we can where we can work in because you guys need to understand that it's a pun and if we don't translate it that way yeah. it's like well because puns aren't yeah puns aren't puns yeah. unless they're in futon the futon yeah <laughs> like you're not gonna yeah the futon is a futon very good pun there the futon the futon flies. the futon flew slashed is a futon which was translated translator's note yeah as <laughs> this is a pun that's the pun that went into Yakuza 0 as uh Want to avoid dangerous cults? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that exactly. So there are there are situations we do it. Um, but if you but the point is is that like our goal isn't necessarily to. I think the goal of all good translation is like yeah. when you get to like a pun, isn't it's not to explain like oh they made a pun in Japanese. Here's the pun in Japanese. It's accurate. The point is, is like, oh, the writer wanted you to laugh here. We're gonna make you laugh. Here. Yep. That's localization. Yeah. That's oh, you're supposed to cry here. Yeah. This is supposed to pull at your emotional strings. We're gonna have to. We're gonna write it so we, you, you 
you feel it. Um, I think the, the, the tricky part of it is when you get to that point where you're like, I don't like the way they tried to pull your strings here, so we're going to change that because I disagree with like how they went about doing it, and that's dumb. Like that's when you have to kind of like kind of check yourself. Yeah. Um, it's not a matter of like whether you liked it or not. It's a matter of what, what does it work. Or not. So the Daigo boss fight. Richard for 97. Yes. Yes, that Daigo boss fight. Nobody gives Kiryu a thrashing. Oh, is this, yeah. He, but there's a thrashing about to happen right <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's just attacking a, like, Kotagi at this point. Yeah, there you go. Yep. That's a kind of underlying thing too. Is Yakuza don't actually attack civilians. Like that's not a thing that they do. Yeah. So when that happens and, and all the characters react to it and everyone's like, well, why wouldn't they just attack the civilians? It's because they don't. Yeah. That's that's like the setting there. It's like they, you're you're, it, like in Japanese uh, like culture, there's this very interesting. Um, anyone who's ever studied Japanese culture or language, whatever, there's this very interesting. Uh, undercurrent of inside outside inside groups and outside groups uh, in Japanese and even places like it's not just a social thing but even places there's like clear de delineations on inside and outside uh, like for example like in Japanese you know um, homes you like to take your shoe as you transition into the inside you take your shoes off when like like uh, watch the watch Kiryu's feet in Yakuza 6 he will literally di when he walks inside they will not let him in with his shoes right <laughs> like like when you go in and out of a dojo you bow when you enter and exit like you're crossing a boundary there um and like uh so for this Yakuza thing you know, there's all social circles you you have people who are in your in group and people in your, in your out group, and it's very, it's very like, people are hyper aware of who's on the end and who's on the out, and it changes like how you speak to them, how you interact with them, um, and you know, treating insiders as outsiders and outsiders as insiders is actually like, just like uncomfortable. And so that's kind of what they're talking is like, if you're a Yakuza, then you're on the inside of the inside the Yakuza group, and we can treat you as, a, as, a, as like an equal, as like a, another Yakuza, but if you're not, in the in Yakuza group, then you're outside and you can't use the same rules to interact with those people. No matter how like annoying it would be, or like you know how much oh it'd be just easier if we could just do it this well. That's it's never that easy. So. Getting kind of kind of jacked up here. They've got purple fire. Very magical. Oh, there he fucking is. Oh, oh. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you activate the super? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, is it not? Uh, uh, R, R, is it, yeah, is it not R, 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 that's two or something like that? No? That's the top. Yeah, right. How do, you, how do you do that? I we should pay attention to tutorials, I guess. <laughs> Uh, if you remember, like, so one of the things about um, the earlier Yakuza games, like, especially like Yakuza 3 or whatever, like, using the, using the, like, stuff lying on the benches, like, that's required, man. You, know, you, can't, oh, yeah. like, you just can't beat dudes to death. So, make sure you're using the benches. Yeah, get them. Did you activate that? Was that automatic? I think that's automatic. Yes, we gotta feel the heat. Feel the heat! Feel the heat! Here we go! go! I think we felt it. Oh! Oh man, these are so good. Yeah, Yakuza 5 has the best, like... The best fill the heats? So the best fill the heats. <laughs> so, the mechanic is back in Toronto too, by the way. Somebody's asking how... Uh, so Kitty, Kitty Complex asks how I learned Japanese. Um, so, I, um... It's a long story. Uh... <laughs> I, the short, the sort of quick short version is that I um, took a semester of it, uh, I switched to, from a, a BS to a BA, which means I had to pick up a second, uh, like a, a language in, in college, uh, so I decided to take Japanese for like 
uh, was, was supposed to be, I think, a semester, or it was supposed to be a year of Japanese, but then I kind of liked it, so I ended up switching to a Japanese major and ended up taking three years of Japanese in, in college, and then I, I went on the JET program for three years, uh, and then when I came back, that was like six years of like doing Japanese, and it was just barely enough to like kind of work in a Japanese environment, uh, and then I was assigned to project management, and I had to start writing a whole bunch of Japanese emails to Japanese people, and I've been doing that for like... 13 years. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> yep. As I for mean, me, I don't, again, don't know Japanese. It's all about, I just, I know less than I should, but more than I let on. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. You're surrounded by other bilinguals, so, you know, I do, I do the same thing. I'm, I can't write. I can't write for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm always like, hey guys, I need you to, like, if I, if I have to, like, like low-level translate something that's going to go in a game, I'm always, like, handing it off to one of our writers. I'm like, please fix my awful English. Um, so. Oh, it's just the, clean, the, the, trash, clean, clean the trash cleanup thing. These are trash. Yeah, I pick this. them up. Yes, be the good citizen. That's right. Be the good citizen. Yep. Killers. So there's some, is that some? I saw some shinies over there in the corner. Okay, okay. She's worried about the devil killers though. He's already twenty, wasting his time. They drive like maniacs. Over twenty. Apparently, if you're over twenty, you need to calm down and you need to like not drive like a maniac. Start start, start your home life. <laughs> the, isn't that that's something from Punch Out? Isn't it like go home and. <laughs> go home and be a family man. That's Kyle. Home, oh, that's that guy. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> go home and be a family man. <laughs> I did just take some phone calls in the middle of the street. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, stop! Stop! <laughs> Hold on, I'm on the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the fourth chairman of the Tojo Clan. It's cool. Oh snap! The fight. I don't want the fight. Uh, where am I going? All right, we'll go. We'll head up this way. I don't know if Coco too well. Oh no, I didn't go that way. No! Uh, so, uh, this is, here's the Yakuza Zero question. Yep. So, uh, Virgil An Angelo is asking how come Chimpira style was translated as Brawler while Street Fighter style was translated as Stuck? We had. So, wait, 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 wait. So, Chimpira. <laughs> this is where it's get confusing. So, in one, Chimpira is the Japanese one, and. The street Fighter, it's not Street Fighter in Japanese, it's uh, Kinka. It's like fighter. It's just. Kin Kinka. Kin Kinka. Kinka. Which we're talking about the, the three side fighting styles yeah, for Majima and Kiryu, right? Yeah, so, right. Kiryu's, Kiryu's brawler style in Japanese would have translated more directly to punk. Whereas Majima's thug style would have translated more directly to like fighting master. Fighting master, yeah. When that was the problem. That one was basically the problem. Because yeah. we couldn't fit fighting master into, into like icon. into like little icon. Yeah. We needed so we needed like a nice short word uh, and, for that. And so we based that off of how you'd expect Majima to fight essentially. I yeah. Mean, he's kinda he's kind of underhanded. Yeah, and that's that's fine. We we watched his moves and we're like, he's a thug, dude. Yeah, he's he, like he, out fight, here just... he, he fights underhanded. He's you know, and and compared to to Kidu. Kidu's fighting style isn't really thuggish. It's not underhanded. It's just like he's punching dudes like straight forward, which is a little bit more of a. It's not really. It's not really like punkish or thuggish. It's just like put this up and put dudes down with it. So, but ultimately, a lot of that was being informed, like we said, by the icons themselves. Like this is part of the, the localization challenge. We can't just pick the word we want. We have to pick the word that fits or right. like works within all the situations that the word has to be used. And one of the biggest um, kind of things was trying to get things into those icons that, that, are, that are readable in it. And you know what's really cool about those icons is that in, in Japanese, they were just text. It was just text. We, but Kiwami, we were so behind that Kiwami had already kind of come out, and we were like, that's a great idea. Cause, the, yeah, because yeah, Kiwami, Kiwami had these icons that represented each one, so we kind of stole that from the Japanese idea, and we applied it to the, to the English version. On the, bot, on the bottom, basically, because uh, there was no way, because in the Japanese version, you know, the little, the toggle wheel that you have at the bottom, each icon actually has the Japanese text written into it, but we can't put English text in there and have it be legible. Like, it just becomes like a blurred 
blob. And so we like we gotta remove the text there, but we still need the text described up on the right, you know, the, the left side of the screen. Awesome garbage. So we had to kind of that's part of the smoke and mirrors. But sometimes we just can't use the the perfect translation. We have to kind of think about right. what's where it's going and right. does it work? Does it is it different enough? Does it roll off the tongue? Uh, what's garbage I'm finding? Awesome garbage! There you found th you, you found six Sixty-eight Eight liters, liters of, of garbage. Awesome. That's a lot of garbage. That's a lot of garbage. Oh, man. Thirty-two liters of garbage. Thirty-two. My community level service is already C. Like fighting. one of those, like <gasps> one of, like you know, one of those, um, like co big Coca-Cola bottles. That's like three liters, guys. He just found like <laughs> twenty of those or something. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's try to skip sub stories, I guess, because we've got to get through this. As tempted as I am. Uh oh. Huh? They eat chumps like me for breakfast. Oh, these, you got some more of these devil killers up in your face, man. We did talk a little bit about the whole, like, why is Wi-Fi not physical last time. You should definitely check out that stream. Don't want to go over... Don't want to beat a, beat a dead horse. Yeah. But, uh, yep. Where am I going? I don't know. Where are you going, man? What's happening here? Uh, no, no, no. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm just going home, aren't I? Yeah, you gotta go back there. That's right. It's your... No, no, it's the other side of the Oh, way. my bad. No, no, no. no, no. You're what? right. No? You gotta go out. You okay, gotta, gotta go, go out. around. You gotta, you gotta go around. Oh. Is it not right there? There, over there, yeah. Like back over in that back house. <laughs> have you met Mac yet? Uh, no, I've not met He's Mac. He's coming up. Mac is coming up. Mac des yo. Mac des yo. Mac Mac is the character that all the uh, we're all there to. Um, uh, we're um, like all the foreigners identify with <laughs> because that's how that's how all the foreigners are seen by the Japanese people. <laughs> And it's actually kind of the sad thing is, is kind of, sometimes it's like you know sometimes stereotypes like actually are based you know they're based in real life so there's some stuff that Max says and sometimes I'm like oh yeah, I can totally <laughs> I can identify with that he's always got like some Japanese girlfriend who's like trying to teach him ink teach yeah, him yeah, Japanese yeah. <laughs> so he's trying to use it like oh, I can see that yeah that's a thing that happens <laughs> that's a thing. What's happening in the chat? Yeah, it's okay. Everyone likes Mac. Oh, good. I love, love Mac. Love. The plot unfolds. Plot part one, chapter three. God, these are confusing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a confusing game. What's going on here? Oh, Ben, we're back in early summer, two twenty eleven. Morning. So this morning. is a year before. <laughs> this is a year prior. Okinawa. Shisa. No morning glory. Morning glory. <laughs> it is not sunshine anymore, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, we fixed it. We fixed it. So many people are mad that we fixed it. Others are happy, but some are mad. It's kind but, of what I what we expect. But that's though. the thing is we like you know, change it like like uh, it's gonna be a 50-50 split. Yeah. It's got to be done. Yeah, yeah. Even though it wasn't it wasn't correct technically the first time. So, but it, that's that's kind of what we're talking about. Like when do you change it? When do you not change it? It's it's hard. Yep. It's hard. It's hard, and not everyone's always gonna agree with you. So, Dragon of Dojima versus Spyro the Dragon. Um, I'm pretty sure the Dragon Dojima can like get on get on Spark. <laughs> yeah, they they team up. He'd be riding him as a heat action. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Oh. oh, this is where he. This is where he. Yeah. yeah. We. This is actually in a. It's in the comics. It's in the comics. Yeah. We cover yeah, this scene in the comics. This is important. This is in this in this game though. It's not like important like that, right? This is right. This is in this, this game. Yeah. And you see the scene twice, which is why you'll see it in the comic twice. Right. 
because it's two different perspectives. All right, Kiryu and, and Karuka's perspective. Yes, it's been the same actor who plays Kiryu throughout the series. Yeah. Um, I think for Kiwami, he actually went through though and like redid his vo his dialogue because yep. he just had become that much more familiar with the character. It's Kaya Kuroda. <laughs> this is okay. So like, the, like this is an interesting kind of thing. It's like she, so she's like, I wanted, I wanted to hear the truth, but in the Jap in actual Japanese, she says, I, I, I didn't want to hear you lie, but they, but. But the implication of, like, when you say that in, one, in English, it's right. like one kind of nuance to it, but the actual nuance in Japanese is more like, I wanted to hear the truth. So it's like, an example, like, kind of when we massage the translation a little bit to make sure that the intention is really clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the, so there's a final comic coming on online, right? I think so. Lauren's on it. Lauren's going to tell us. Um, <laughs> the, uh, but the last, the last two comics are like a dual issue, right? The kind of yeah, it's like some of the same events from Kiryu and Haruka's perspective. It's basically Wi Fi happening, like it's, like in parallel. In parallel. Oh, that's right. And it, and it culminates at like the. I'm get kind of tired. Just think the ending of Wi Fi. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, will, it will kind of go into the ending. But so does Y six. Yeah, yeah, frankly. yeah. That's right. That's right. It's not really a spoiler in so much that like it, it just recontextualizes some of the stuff that Y six kind of. Introduces you up, up front, so. Ah, final chapter on launch day. Yeah, you heard it here first. でも、ここが潮時だ。俺らにだっていつの日か。なきゅう。離れ離れになる日が来るんだからな。だから俺はここを去る。お前や。朝顔のみんなのことを愛しているから。This <laughs> game, man, this game. makes you cry. This game makes you cry. <laughs> it does. It pulls on those heartstrings. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be like, this is, this is man, this is manly tears, man. Manly tears in this game. <laughs> we should have put that on the front of box, like you know, includes you know, free manly tears. Yep, <laughs> manly tears included. Comes with your own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hard, man. I, we, we, I think we, we mentioned this actually. Um, in uh, a lot of you guys have played the demo at this point. Uh, so I may we and I think we mentioned this probably like a couple of like a couple of episodes back. But when we originally got our hands on Yakuza Six. Uh, the when it was like in kind of like a prototype kind of they're still kind of putting it together uh, but we started had the thinking we were going to try to start thinking about how the game was going to be marketed and like what the what the message is like what was the dev team really going for and really understand you actually have to kind of play the game a little bit to kind of get your head around like what they're going for and so uh, Scott and I actually had to sit into go into a room for like a week because the game was out in Japan yet which when games aren't out in Japan but we have the code that's like the worst possible situation because that just makes them so secret. So yeah, we like, have to be top, super secret. So we, we had to go, Scott and I had to go into this room and basically like, we don't have really time, we don't really have time to just sit around and like casually play the game. We have to just like bang through the game, like the cutscenes using kind of debug stuff and like move through it really quick and to see, get an idea like what the story is, like how, to, what's the moment in the moment. And so, but it's all in Japanese and as we just said earlier, like Scott not, doesn't speak Japanese. So I'm having to sit there and we're like, he has the controller and he's controlling the pacing and I'm sort of like live in interpreting for him like what is going on in screen and and like the <laughs> this, if you guys have played the demo like the the demo the game is like really like emotionally front loaded where there's all this stuff like you know talk like Haruka and Kiryu and I'm like trying to like live interpret and like every line I'm having to like <laughs> okay what Haruka is saying? <laughs> God, it's moving. I'm like trying to move through this like and keep it serious because it's not like like if I was just playing the game. If I'm if I'm just playing the game, I'd be like kind of a little bit more straight faced and just like tabbing through the text. But since I'm actually having to input the Japanese and like contextualize it, like what's the emotional ring here, and then regurgitate it in, in my native language, I'm like it's like hitting me a little bit more emotionally. Uh, so I'm like trying to explain the game to him, I'm, like tearing up over it. It's, yeah, it's really bad. kind of embarrassing, actually. So. Yeah, I do the same thing when I'm at my desk though, doing the English, like the, the ending of Y6 that I'm not going to talk about. But like, you know, I was I came in as the second pass on Y6. So I'm like, 
This is really sad. I'm going to make it sadder. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're going to cry. You are going to cry. You're going to cry. Do I want to take care of this urgent request? What all right, it? all right. Why not? Oh, so that now that now that ga the trash picking up thing is on the yes. on the thing. Yes, now, so we we're talking about that. Uh. Thanks, Fireball Super. Yeah. Make it oh, Unja. Yeah. Uh oh. Hi. Omatishiteorimashita. Oh, I think I just did a side story. That's okay. I like taxi driving. Oh, these guys are from Kansai. These guys are speaking with the Kansai dialect. Yeah, I just heard. I just picked up on that too. I can pick up Kansai now. You can, you can like, like, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of hear, it, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they're Yeah, so these guys are like from out of town. Like it's pretty it's pretty <laughs> in, in the Japanese then that's kind of the one of the things you have to really it's like in the Japanese you can kinda of hear like, oh these guys are not from this region. Um, uh, because like like the th that's the thing and that's one of the things in Japan that they really for better or for worse, they really enforce like regional identity. Um, and they kind of like culturally reinforce those stereotypes like if you're from Kansai you act and speak like this if you're from Kanto you act and speak like this if you're from like Hokuto you you like act and speak like this and because people are told that they they kind of fulfill that and, and that's it, why we do the accents in the text because when yeah. someone says something any Kansai accent that you're specifically supposed to understand is a Kansai accent you lose so much context if you're like but we don't render accents yeah yeah so we so as a result, especially in the Kansai, we often have to like work in language that is not in the Japanese just because that's what it feels that that's what it feels like in English when people speak in certain kind of ways. They use different idioms and they use different parts of speech and they, they use more like, you know, turns of phrases and all that kind of stuff. So like in the Y Zero scene when, when Majima the Majima's introduction to Y Zero, he's speaking completely Tokyo Bin like Formal, formal language, but w there's that one part at the end where he's under his breath. If that's how you want it. <laughs> <laughs> that's Kansai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I've got some Omi Alliance politics here. I said Hokuto. Hokuto means north means like northeast hokuto means north, north means uh, what north no, hokuto means northeast hokuto is the northeast oh. hokuto like just like tokyo is the to in the east east capital but everyone thinks i'm talking about hokuto which is north star right <laughs> similar similar but different words similar but different yeah ah you guys are clever <laughs> What are our hopes for the Y6 launch? That y'all like it. Yeah, basically. I, just want you, I want you guys to be able to play it. We've been sitting on it for so long. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the that's the end result for me, man. When I see you guys like living it and experiencing it and talking about it on chat and on Twitter and on socials and on all the things. We hope that it's that it it's um we hope that the work we did on it. Um, achieves your expectations for the final chapter of Cosmic Kiryu and that yep. you feel closure and you feel happy with how it turned out and you can turn around to all your friends and say this series exists I want to hear about you crying <laughs> and you share your screenshots it's completely unblocked till the end, till the end so. don't spoil it for your friends though but yeah. be smart be, be, you know, know how, learn how to like put out little pieces that get people interested, but don't necessarily spoil the. <laughs> giving away all the social media strategies. Yeah. <laughs> get the pieces out. If you haven't ever caught on to this, the Omi Alliance is technically larger than the Tojo clan. Which is why the Omi is generally considered like the, the more prominent and white. All Daigo has to go to all these measures to make sure that there's a successful transfer of power in that that organization. But I mean, there's also the implication there that um, 
Guys, the Omi, the Omi kind of made it through Yakuza 2 and, and established some new leadership and stayed strong while the Tojo, ever since like the happenings of Yakuza 1, and it all kind of fell to pieces, and it's always been, they're, they're always coming back up. But there's always been every time they come back up, they put in assholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what happens with companies. I feel like maybe don't talk about Daigo Kiri. <sighs> we know you guys want other games. Don't worry. Yeah. We know. We know. There's a there's a stack. <laughs> Yakuza 6 is dinner, Kiwami 2 is dessert, and you guys are asking about breakfast. <laughs> so. We'll see. We'll see. Hang tight. We got a really good lineup. We got a whole bunch of stuff cooking there this year that hasn't even been announced yet. So it's Yeah, it's a good year We're for busy. Sega. We're busy. We're busy. Good year for Yakuza. I mean, like, even just over the next couple months, I mean, like, what else going on, man? There's, like... We got Shining Resonance, we got Valkyrie Chronicles, we got Kiwami 2, uh, there's um, Sonic. S Sonic, the new Mania, the new Sonic Mania thing. Yep. yep. Um, we've got, I think there's that Mega Drive collection, the Genesis collection, it's coming out. Is they, it? They announced it. Um, so, yeah, man, there's like all kinds of stuff for you guys to, to jump on. And there's like all this other stuff that's going to be peppered in there that no one even knows about yet. So. Stay tuned. Yep. Stay tuned. There we go. Ooh, check in the trash cows. This now we're. This is the content. <laughs> yep. Woo! My social commitment level. But, the, but here's the thing: is like we basically determined that we couldn't localize this because it's like a texture. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, just, at, like you don't even know what's going on here. But he's at the top. I want. Did we put it some text thing in here? That, yeah, that, he did. He said I'm at the top. Looks like I picked up a ton okay, of garbage. Okay, yeah, so yeah, that, that was the thing. It was like, I don't think that that's what it was in the original English, but we had to write that in to be like, oh, that's you. Snap, a rubber ball. Thank you, company. What does a rubber ball do? Kids can throw this ball around without getting hurt. Maybe you could use it for something. Oh, oh can't use that here. <laughs> Not in the office. Where am I going? Yeah, see, see these like text boxes where she's um. Kiryu, Kiryu. Oh, it's just Suzuki. Wait, whoa, Kiryu. Oh no, that's the that's the, okay. That's the sub story box. That's why that's Kiryu. That's to indicate that this is his side story. Oh, is that what that yeah, is? She's not saying Kiryu. Yeah. But because she's saying Mr. Suzuki, she yeah. doesn't know what Kiryu. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this oh, is, this is one of my favorite sub story sub like little things. <laughs> Going, Muramatsu. It's not good. No. You know anything about computers? <laughs> Kiryu, do you do technology? It's running slow. Uh oh. <laughs> you ever had a computer do this? It's nightmarish. It's with the cyber, ter <laughs> cyber terrorism attacks. <laughs> Sign of terrorism. <laughs> I wonder what the Japanese on this was. Yeah. Yeah. Sign of terrorism. <laughs> Cooking. Look at it. Whack the box. Whack it. Whack the box. <laughs> just try it. Per cost of maintenance. <laughs> Get it, Nakajima. I think you just made it mad, though. <laughs> oh, that didn't do anything. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> you can tap, tap, tap Rhino keys and pull the cord out the back. I think the uh, correct answer is pull the cord out. Yeah. I mean, correct answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, do it again. <laughs> All right. We'll get, to, we the right. We'll get we, to the point here. Yeah. Land cable? <laughs> as hard as you can. Heat action that shit, man. Let's go. He's not even doing it. He's just telling the boss, like. See how that's designed? Oh, see, see how that's. Yeah, so yep. this, is a, this is game magic. Like, the, the animating the actual hand. 
pull in the cord would be hard, so they have this like nice plant in front of it to like. <laughs> oh my goodness, what has happened? <laughs> So there was a there was a whole thing about how we get this. So she's like she's like, stop picking on me, stop messing with me, put it back in, put it back in. <laughs> the attacker must have known. He set it up to play the moaning sound. Put it back, put it back in. Oh, put it back in. <laughs> Can't have a girl moaning in the office all day. Can you fix this? Put it back, put it back, put it back. <laughs> no! Uh, by the way, guys, this stream is uh, rated M for sexual references. <laughs> uh, what's the correct answer? You plug the cord back in? I think you have to put it back in. Yeah, okay. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, no. Put it in deeper. 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 <laughs> is this what it's Don't. like in the Sega office? Absolutely. This is just this is happening right outside yeah, the door. Everyone's right, yeah, computer is yeah. doing this. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about how uh, <laughs> how our, uh, our editor boy was working on uh, the live chat for Yakuza 6, and it was just like behind us for like two weeks. It was just like girls <laughs> taking clothes off and stuff. He, he came up to us at the end. He's like, I never want to see another girl again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we ruined you. <laughs> Driving him plum loco. Don't stop him. <laughs> oh. They've turned it, so they pulled the power cable this time. Ah. That's <laughs> Did something happen? <laughs> By some cider tear. Pull the car, yeah, we have to pull, pull. <laughs> it's making all these raunchy sounds. <laughs> hey, don't pull it out. Oh, she knows. She knows. <laughs> pull, it, pull it, yep. Oh. The hard drive, you killed it! Oh, pulling out hard drives kills your computers. <laughs> it is your fault, Gary. Somehow, it's always your fault. Who would visit an adult site on a P work PC? Yeah, who does that? Uh-oh. <laughs> like us, when we have to go check Look at, oh, they actually have like uh I know, they've characters. got crazy, crazy special characters in this game. So guys, maybe you don't realize this, but like, you know, that, that little naive with the dot dots, like. That's not easy. That's not we easy. We didn't even get to do it later on in the series. I don't know how we lost that ability, but yeah. we did. But we, but, but the thing we got added into Yakuza 6 though, was italics. italics. I, that changed the game. Oh, you guys don't know. I, like, every time we, we get, get to talk about italics, that's like, what yes. that's what makes that's where it gets like localizers on Japanese content like excited. Like we got to use italics, man. Oh my god. Ah. So yeah, it was game, it was pretty game changing. The reason we reason we really wanted to use italics in, in Yakuza Six was because there's actually a lot of foreign language being spoken. Uh, that, I mean, outside Japanese, <laughs> ja foreign languages for Japanese people. So there's a lot of Korean and Chinese in there, and we wanted a wanted a way to visually delineate uh, when they're speak when they're not speaking Japanese. And we dis determined that the way this um, best way to do it was like have italics. But and once we got that in, we we're like, oh, now we can use italics like all over the place. Yep. So it allows us to like add emphasis and like call out Japanese words separately. And then we got then we got just we started getting on top of the mountain. We're like, you know what we need now. A Lenny face. Oh, we need Lenny face. Yeah, so God, that took forever. That took for, I can't believe how much time we wasted. And ours and the dev team being like, oh, it's not quite it's right. It's not quite there yet. Fix it. It ended up being like three characters that had to be put together. But at the end of the day, live chat has the Lenny, Lenny face. face. It's a massive localization win, guys. Because <laughs> because Japan doesn't really. I mean, it, 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 I mean, not not a criticism, but they like don't. They just don't. 
get it because it's not. It doesn't mean anything. They to can them. Do, they can use their own natural characters to create this stuff. The W's and the, yeah, yeah. the little owls and stuff. Yeah, they like, got, but but like the Lenny face is very English specific, and we're like, guys, we really need the Lenny face. And we're like, <laughs> why is this? Is it really that important? Because this is gonna be complicated to kind of put together. Yes, yes, yeah. we need Lenny. So <laughs> it took weeks. I almost gave up too. I was like, I because you know John was the one pushing for it. He's like, it has to happen. I was like, it's not going to happen, man. This is this is just not turning out. And he's like, no, keep going. Mm. Oh, oh, here's a good question. Sonic Kick's asking, like, if we had italics in Yakuza 0, would that have changed things like, I need Biza? Oh. I, it definitely would have come in handy. I know that much. There's there was a lot of places where I think we use capitalization for emphasis. Yeah. But that kind of makes it sound like you're yelling. Yeah. So. Um, Which is sometimes the case. Get out of the street, Kiyu. Oh, my bad. <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, yeah, italics, man. Yes. <laughs> Win. Super excited about some italics. And because it's Dragon Engine, it's basically coming back in Kiwami too. Yep. Now it's in. Now it's in. We can keep using it. So. Those guys are really. I, I love. I love the the. The. Uh, Ryuga Koku Koku Dev Team guys. They're just like. Super sharp. Really on. Really with it. Um, so. How long did the translation of Y6 take us? I just did the math on that, and it was like 10, I mean, from like, translation start to gold master, it was like 10 months. Yeah, because it's not just, you know, we don't just translate it and then, oh, we're done. Yep. Like once you, translation is only like 30, 40%, because you translate it, and then you rewrite it, you edit it. That's how we do it. And then we, then you, then it's got to get implemented. You get a Scott pass on it, because it's Yakuza. <laughs> yeah, and, it, okay. and you got to then it, someone's got to actually build everything into the game, and then you've got to check it, which takes a couple more months to make sure all the misspellings and all the stuff is not and all the stuff's been properly implemented. And baseball was a wreck, and like making sure that like all the plot points are matching in context. Because sometimes when you're translating just the text, like makes sense in one way, but when we put it in a game, you're like, oh, that doesn't really work that way. I guess now that I'm seeing it on the screen in the context of the game, like oh, there was actually. Three guys here, not just one guy here. I didn't realize that at the time. So you got to fix all that stuff. Um, it takes a long time. It takes a long time. Is the peacock lining Kiwami too? Guys, I gotta answer this every time. Apparently, it's pinned. I have it pinned as a tweet. Yeah, it's pinned as a tweet. Well, I'll go to his tweet, Twitter, check it out. They're not a couple. Kiwami refuses to acknowledge status. Wait, are they living together? They're practically no, living. Practically living together. Oh. oh, man, she's, she's motivated. Ooh. <laughs> she's, she's not taking over an answer. She's ready. <laughs> So you translate first, the game is being created, and then you play through to fix some translations due to situations. Ah, kind of. Kind of depends. Depends on this on when we're able to get started. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, the best time to get started is before it launches in Japan, because then you can kind of be working in tandem with them. But that creates a whole new window. Yeah. So, so like the worst thing you can't just like there's some some companies do this, but you know like if Japan hasn't stopped like working on their text and you're and you're translating while they're like working on it. You have to keep going back and like redoing text over and over and over that you've already done once, and that takes time. Time is money. Money means like it, it's got to sell more and to, and all that kind of stuff. So there's usually like there, there's like there's this long discussion that happens like when should we actually start where it's like effective where we won't have to keep Hi. redoing our our work Oi, like, over and over and over Cut for no reason. Um, so that's that's part of the kind of whole thing. Um, <gasps> But Japan likes to like work on the text like up to kind of the, like the last hour, because that's you know, part of their quality kind of thing, um, and it just creates a lot of problems if we start start working on it too early. So, will we ever get a sim ship? That we'll never say never. But man, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Usually, um, uh, releasing after Japan typically results in higher quality localization. I feel uh, because. Mm -hmm. 
you're able to like dig into the details a little bit deeper. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a slider. It's like what, you know, yep. speed, versus quality. Speed, speed, speed. I mean, speed, money, speed, cost, quality. Yep. Pick two. Pick two. <laughs> But we are closing the gap, I feel. I mean, we've done the best we can. So uh, someone's asking about patches for localization. We would never release a patch to fix a, a misspelling. Like, that's ridiculous. No. It's too costly, <laughs> too, that's just, too involved. That's too, too many people to fix a... Literally, I mean, that, because, you know, we release a game in, in North America and Europe, we'd have to go to Japan to get them to implement the patch. So right. it's like, we're literally involving three pitchy, three countries of people to fix a typo. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah, three countries of people. Especially if it's not gonna, if it, 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 it also often if if like the the um, the, the misspelling or the issue is not gonna affect like strongly affect people's like impression of the game, like it's hard to justify. You know, re, kind of essentially sort of redoing it just for the sake of like. A small error like that. We try to we try to crush all that stuff out. Um, yeah, absolutely try. So we don't have to go back and do it. So yeah, our, our, our QA team is the last line of defense, and I tell them that all the time. They they know that. Yeah. The hydration bot came back. Yeah, he, they, they always like it. Yeah, they're always. Yeah. Who deleted him? That's gonna be real arm. Oh Lord, you deleted the hydration bot. Oh man. Tempers are now flaring in between the Fukuoka but Yakuza and the Tojo clan. We, we were talking over it, but Morinaga showed up at Kiryu's door all bloody and beaten. Sorry, Lauren. I didn't mean to call you out. You just, she, Lauren's our like bouncer though, so. Yeah, I, I just assumed that she was out there like, you know, busting heads. Oh. <laughs> It's not Lauren who defeated the hydration if bot. We, if we ever get like Sorry. a, if there's ever a coffee bot, like, hey, you're 45 minutes in, you must be running low on co caffeine. Drink your coffee. Come on in. Come on in. Because <laughs> I'm definitely out of coffee, so. But you guys, we got a good crowd today. We got a lot of localization engaged people this yeah. time. Super, super happy to have you guys yeah. I mean, for every stream. This yeah. and every stream beyond and, and future. Yeah, I mean, like, they, like one of the main reasons we like to get on and do this kind of stuff is simply because, um, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of like mis a lot of mystery, a lot of mystery, and misinformation about like how things work. I think a lot of the, I think a, a lot of like the negativity in the game industry in general is just like a bunch. It's like in general about like a bunch of people who think they know how things work, and it, they're just wrong. <laughs> They're just completely <laughs> wrong, and it spreads because it's a lot of that, like, well, what that guy said made sense, so now I'm going to repeat the same thing, but it's just like, it doesn't work that way. So, yeah, yeah. more more, more real talk I always think is better. Um, you know, we're not here to, like, of course we have some restrictions on what we can talk about, because we, you know, there's like, like we were saying earlier, there's a barrier, the inside and the outside group, but, you know, when it comes to localization topics in general, like, we love to have the conversation. Yeah, and sometimes it, like you know, we're just talking over a game that's kind of playing in the background. And we're not super engaged. We're like, wait, what's going on? We yeah. kind of have to bring it back to that, you know. But, but yeah. thanks for thanks for hearing us out. Thanks for Scott joining the streams. We love having you guys. It's super cool that we get the chance to do this. Super cool to have you guys. I love you guys. Yeah. We will be, um, I think, uh, once a little bit shortly after the Yakuza 6 uh, release, we're going to probably, uh, you might see some new faces coming on. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of the upcoming pro projects, and maybe even going back and doing some, we were I was trying to get, get, out, get one of my guys to come on and do some retro games. You guys want to play some like retro content? I think that could be a lot of fun, so uh, we'll, we'll keep the stream going uh, for different topics, and we wanna, want you guys to come back and continue to like, you know, par take part in our sort of Sega ecosphere. It's not just about Yakuza, but Sega, we, Sega, man, we, there's, there's so much Sega content out there. Like, this company's been around for decades. There's so much we can talk about. Um, and like, as someone like, you know, it's a, it's a kind of a, like a worst kept secret, but like I, I actually didn't grow up as like a Sega guy. Like I didn't, I played the other other guys' <laughs> content. Um, but I joined Sega back in 2010, and I honestly gotta say, man, like, like it's been eye opening to like study Sega from like almost like an academic perspective after the fact. Like, there's so much history with this company. There's so much like interesting like tales and interesting backgrounds about, especially coming from the, like the arcade side and how the hardware like played all into that and all the like game 
design philosophy and all that kind of stuff. It's just super fascinating company uh, to talk about and to like learn about. So you know, we want you guys to kind of you know um, be open minded to like learning like where Sega's come from, where they've been. The one of the most interesting things is that like even internally, like the impression of what Sega is from a from a like a Western perspective and what Sega is from a Japanese perspective is actually completely different. Um, and I think that's actually like a, one of the reasons that um, sometimes uh, there's like a disconnect of expectations from what like Japan is doing and what ex West, the West actually expects. <gasps> it's just a really, really kind of fascinating space uh, that, you know, we want everyone to do. So please keep on coming back. Uh, we're going to be talking about all kinds of stuff going forward. So. Mayumi has just figured out that Morinaga here had a Tojo clan pin. So she's starting to put some pieces together. Uh, well, I, I, but like, as if she hadn't figured it out by the big dragon tattoo on his yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Mayumi. What do we hear, Kiryu? Still don't know where Daigo is. Daigo is missing. Um, so Flagship Fighter is uh, asking about um, good, interesting history reads for Sega. I would say that one of the one of the things that I, I actually learned a lot from working on uh, was the so the Sega blog, which we don't really use anymore, but it's still out there. Uh, there's this long series of um, blog entries talking about the Sega 3D Classics series. Uh, where uh, one of our producers, um, Okunai-san, is talking to Hori-san, who's the, the shacho, the president of M2, and they're, like, talking about these classic games, and they dig up all these, like, dev tales and production kind of stuff going on. Uh, so I highly recommend, like, reading those articles. I translated most of them myself and had them edited by one of my colleagues on the Japan side to make sure all the details were right. Um, it's probably, like, if you put it into a... Actually, they did put it into a book. So, because those blogs are actually based on um, these uh, these interviews that were done done by Game Watch. It's like a, a gaming <laughs> website in Japan, and they actually took all these interviews and actually made a book out of them in Japanese. It's like a this thick. Um, it's like something about this size, about this thick. Uh, but we had yeah, the exist in English in digital format uh, to a certain extent. Um, so, I definitely, if you want to hear about some interesting <laughs> Japan side Sega stories, definitely go read some of those articles. It's super fascinating stuff. There's a lot of really interesting stuff about Sega art history in Japanese. Like, there's a lot of arcade books, a lot of stuff like that. Um, I definitely recommend anyone who's like interested in Sega. Like the thing, I think Westerners who are interested in Sega, the, the main thing you need to get in your head, and, and I think it's kind of perspective changing, is that Sega, Sega exists not because of like the Genesis. Sega exists because of Japanese arcades. Like, the arcade is is the driving force for most of everything. It's just that the Mega Drive and the Genesis kind of popped off in the West in a way that didn't really happen in Japan. Uh, so like Japanese people don't think of Sega as a hardware maker, like we do over here, they think of Sega as an arcade company. Um, so that's really, really critical, I think, about uh, having some perspective. Mm. Oh, was it? Going on about Mayumi. He recognized her. Yes. He's, she, and he was like, she's a, and he was like, nah, man, I already got it. Okay. All right. And Aoyama is taking over as acting chairman. Aoyama? That's, yes. that, that's that guy that was in the that's beginning. The, that's the snaky dude, yeah. The snaky dude with the big, the, like, bulging Long, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Daigo's been gone two days and he's already taken over. That's what the last scene was when about. Is he, when is, are we getting to the point where Kiju's going to dodge a rocket? That's at the end. Okay. We got an hour. Can we get to, can we can get, get to, to the can end we get, Kiryu? Can we get to rocket dodging in an hour? I'm going to have to pump it up. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's not that much more going on. I mean, it's like a four four hour thing, so I feel like we should be okay. Is it a four hour thing? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is what we do. Yep. No one knocks on my door. <laughs> hey, I this is Mac. This has got to be Mac. No way. That wasn't Mac.
Thank you, Flagship Fighter. We do it for you guys. All right. That, the guy really did leave. It's like... Yeah. I think it's a sub story. I don't oh, know, man. Is that not... There's this guy. Oh, oh man. What is it, Wada? Yeah. Oh, he's got these stomach pains. That's right. <laughs> Poop his pants. Here we are. Here we are. What's up, Eddie Murphy? <laughs> Mac. She knows the cut. <laughs> Why does he got a Japanese name? That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe he's half Japanese. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense either. <laughs> Dude, keep it down. <laughs> Come on, Mac. I don't think we know what Mac, what Mac, what yeah, Mac is I'm, supposed to be. I've just been thoroughly confused. He is ran into some trouble in India. <laughs> That's right. He's the guy who introduced like, the, the, revelations. the revelations. There's one per character. There's one? Yep. There's only one revelation per character. Oh, you mean there's one character who unlocks the revelations? Or so just there's one revelation per character, I think. Oh, really? In five. In four, four had a bunch. Oh, four has a bunch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he says if we skip all the cutscenes. You want to just skip cutscenes? Which is we're not really we're not really uh, reading this, so maybe we can just like fast 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 speed through it. Because that's at the end of the day, that's what, kind of what we were just trying to cover all the bases, not necessarily the details. So, yes, the photo shoot mini game is still in Kiwami 2. Guys, why would we, we haven't censored anything? We don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. Someone, someone does something like 10 years ago, and we're still paying it for, paying I know. for it now, right? <laughs> <sighs> never gonna we'll never live it down. We'll never live it down. The only way we could ever even consider censoring something is if it was going to drive our rating up to an AO, which would basically make the game unsaleable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta keep us honest. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> we are honest. We're honest. We are honest. If we ever cut, if we ever cut anything for you guys, we'll we'll be sure to like explain. To the extent possible, why something happened. Sometimes we can't actually explain it though. <laughs> and no, no shoes are censored in Kiwami 2. <laughs> was that that was a thing, right? Right. Oh, that's right. That way, yeah, we, we did have to, to we, we did have shoe. to censor some shoes in Kiwami and Yakuza 6. That's right. Had to censor the shoes. <laughs> Pre-order confirmed. No shoes censored. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, it's the guy who wants you to uh, follow this. He's following this chick. Yeah, that's right. Basically, he's a stalker. That's right. This is the revelation. I think it's just going to give it to us. Oh, okay. It was a licensing thing, guys, for the, the shoes in Y6. There's basically a stripe missing on, on one particular yeah. character's shoes. Yeah, in, in Japan, they, they had a licensing deal with Adidas to, like, have one of the characters have, like, Adidas gear on him. Um, but <clears throat> when they licensed it, they only licensed it for Japan. And so for, if we wanted to use the Adidas shoes overseas, I think we were going to have to pay money for it. And I don't think anyone here really cares about whether a character has, like, a stripe or not on their <laughs> shoe. So I'm not sure that it makes any sense for us to actually pay money to keep these like shoes this doesn't I'm trying to tail this car and it's hit me for sudden braking he's mad at you dude I Look know 
he wants you to tell him he wants a comfortable ride at the same time. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they, he's a, he is a Japanese customer, and they are kind of a reason. <laughs> I don't think, I think the Yakuza, someone's asking if they still sell the Yakuza Xperia phones. I think those were limited time only right. for Yakuza 6. So, um, yeah, I think it was like just the Yakuza 6 launch time frame. Because that's the whole thing is like Kiryu's like, the UI for, for Kiryu, they made it into a phone and the phone is in the Xperia. And he also, every time he gets a call, it's like super crazy product placement. Every time Kiryu gets a phone call, he's like, Kiryu here on my Sony yeah, on Xperia. My Xperia, and it's got like the logo <laughs> on it and everything. It's crazy. People, some people don't know this, but like there was actually um, a partnership with uh, for Binary Domain. For all you Binary Domain fans out there, <laughs> there was actually like one of the types in Binary Domain. I, I think it was like, don't quote me on this. I think it was Casio watches or something like. There was something about the wa the watch that was like licensed, and so there's like these very. If you know you're looking for it, there's these very distinct. Uh, Spots in the cut in the game's cutscenes where like where the, the character like takes a moment to like look at his watch because it's like a replication of like these Casio ca Casio watches or whatever. So that they ha they happen. They, that's like a thing going on. Yeah, if you guys ever want to like get strike straight to my heart, is tell me that you like binary domain. <laughs> Little known fact: I actually have, uh, I think I have two VO parts. I have, yeah. I have voice in that game. You can find me. I, I voice two NPC characters, minor NPC characters. Cameo appearance. He was driving a stalker. He was driving the chick trying to ditch the stalker. <laughs> yeah, guys, I, I probably mentioned. I was actually the. Um, I'm in the credits. I was. I'm like the North. I was like the North American associate producer on Binary Domain. So that was like, sort of my game. That's where you got your chops, right? It's kind of where I got some. Well, some of my chops, but. <laughs> that Miku. Yeah, I had. Um, I had to sit in on like th two or three weeks of the voice recording. So. So when they're like doing minor NPC people, it's like we don't want to, have to call in a, a a voice actor necessarily for that. So it's just like for a couple lines. So they're like, so I'm like, yeah, I'll just get good do it. They're pretty. You could kind of tell it's me because it's like these like low level, like obviously the voice actor did do this line kind of line, but they're you know they're just throwaway lines. And really cares. <laughs> you can beg negotiate to make it's binary to, domain two all you want. That doesn't. I don't know if that necessarily means it's going to get me. Man, that was an interesting game. You, you thought it was too bro -y, right? That I was couldn't really... handle the broiness of it. That was a very fascinating pro product to work on. It's like this combination of this combination of uh, like Japan and and you know the West engaging on a single on a product. Because the game was written by a Western comic writer, um, and all the cast. Was Amer where there were like Western American Americans essentially, and it, all the all the uh, the voice recording like the Japanese version is the dub. It's not. It's that's an English game with a Japanese dub, not a Japanese game with an English dub. Um, so the, all the voice done casting was done by here. All the mocap was done by the original actors, um, and the, all the mocap was done in Japan. All the acting and whatnot. So that's not like that's not Japanese people. You know, acting with English voice actors over. They actually, we actually flew the voice cast out there, and they did all their own mocap. Um, so that was a really interesting, interesting project. Yeah, we got you covered on Mame. Rename the dog if you didn't catch Mame. He was Rex in Y three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So Rex is not a bad bad translation of mommy though. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean mommy. It's just, just like dog. Yeah, mommy <laughs> is just like a. Uh, it's like pooch. <laughs> you know, like the quick of a pooch. Or. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they've they've got terrible names for for animals and and yeah, because they're all very super generic. Yeah, mommy's like a. It's it's what a kid would name a dog in a. Pochitano in in Y one too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, so oh, so Flagship Fire is asking about binary. So binary domain had this um, this uh, voice recognition Spoilers. kind of. It's fine. Vo- voice recognition like so subsystem on it, so. and the question is, is like, did that take a lot, a lot of work? Yes, I think it took far more work than anyone was expecting it to do. Um, because in Japan, they're just like it, the thing about Japan, Japanese is like, like linguistically, like it's actually a pretty easy. Uh, language to delineate for voice recog because like it's it's very steady like there's this hard like consonant vowel consonant kind of breakup con- composition language and it's very clear um, but but so th- so they're like oh we have Japanese and we'll have English and it's like well guys you can't just say we'll have English because English comes in like 40 different flavors and so we had to do all this like testing and cross checking and and, and data feeding to like get like British English, various types of American English, da 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 da. It was, oh God, it was a lot of work to get that to, to like, to get to the point where it was like functioning properly. But um, I think at the end of the day, you know, like w- the way it works, it works pretty well for what it is. Um, I mean, as long as you're not like thick tongued and, you know, trying to get too complicated with it, it actually works really, really well. It was pretty crazy too, if you think about it, like Binary Domain was actually kind of being worked on the same time this game was being worked on. Oh, really? Yeah, right? So, like, thinking back at that, it's kind of, kind of crazy, actually. Um, because Binary Domain released in 2012, uh, and this game released in Japan later that year in 2012. So, this game is a little bit later than that. Um, so, it's pretty crazy, actually, now that I think back about it. How well does Kiryu speak English? Not well. Does he actually? Sp- does he even attempt it? He's he's attempted it a couple times. The, you uh, make sure you make sure you pick the uh, the beautiful eyes card in Cabaret Club Y six, <laughs> specifically oh. on Sora. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is cool guy. I like this character. This is when you meet him for the first time. Yeah. right? he's gonna get a don don here. He's gonna get a don don. I used to know a dude who looked kind of like this guy. Oh, yeah? He was kind of... <laughs> I used to know a shot that kind of looked like... Kinda, like he reminds me of this guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like a taxi driver. Yeah, there's no way we're getting to the end of this. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe next time we just jump into Haruka. Yeah, it's fine. We just, let's, we'll just tell everyone what happened. Yeah. <laughs>自分らも要顔がんとき、これがあの伝説の男、元東上海四代目会長、キリュウカズマ。Yep. Right. <laughs> he went with the generic asset to just up and leave the room now. <laughs> Dirk. Get out, of Get out of here, Dirk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dirk. <laughs> 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 
We uh yeah I didn't I didn't really call call any attention to it but Lauren is it has and is is has passed out uh, clan creator codes into the chat so if you were not engaged in the chat well you may be missing out yeah clan creator like what is that it's the whole clan creator for people who don't know um, in Yakuza Six you will be treated to the Kiryu clan as part of the main story which is a whole separate kind of sub story mini game thing where you'll encounter some. NJPW wrestlers, you'll be doing a little bit of like a tower offense minigame kind of thing. It's it's a big part of Y6. It also returns in uh, Kiwami 2 as more of a tower defense thing with Majima. So this minigame's been it's getting introduced and it seems to be here to stay. Um, and you can ca recruit all these super cool dudes into your, into your clan uh, by using these codes. Yep. They will make this, no, just, just so you know, using these codes will make this easier than perhaps naturally intended. So if you throw your, if you throw all these codes into your kind creator and you, you're finding that you're stomping the levels, that's probably why. So uh, flagship fighter, actually, she did post the code. You just missed it. I just scrolled up and found it. So it's there. Woo. <laughs> The dragon on your back still got a twinkle in its eyes. That's a good line. That's a good line. We gotta fight this dude? Why are we fighting him? What is this guy? What are we mad about him? He's here to start a war, basically. He's like, I don't care about your truce. I... Screw you guys. Alright, I'm going to take my boys first. Don't get to me. Like the tie, man. I know, it's got some tie. power tie right there. Power tie. <laughs> uh, Flash Fryer, I do not, unfortunately, know anything about the RGG Kiwami Theater in Japan. I did see some some pictures of it at some point, but I don't uh, know anything about it. Good enough to have a conversation about it. So, uh, the, so the Y, uh, Kiwami 2's clan creator codes, do we get those out or are they... There will be no clan creator codes for Kiwami 2. Yeah. Are there purchases? There are purchases in Japan, I don't know how we're doing it. Um, but there are no codes. Specifically. Okay. And there's, and for Yakuza 6, there's actually clan codes and there's also, per there's also like, purchasable ones as well. Have we, have we talked about that at all? Like, I gotta talk to the marketing team. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Lauren can clarify on that. But I, they're, um, I think there's, uh, I think we, they're not as, I don't think they're as expensive as they were in Japan, but I want to say that there are some. Yeah, we submitted them. But yeah, we, we did. We yeah. did. I just didn't know if Mark needed to talk about them yet. Yeah. Didn't want to step on any marketing toes. Yeah. Again, basically, if it's out in Japan, we're bringing it out here. Yeah. We, just, we don't really know what the details are. Wrong. This fighting thing is cool, damn. Get him. Yeah. He's getting him battered. Like I said, she's out there. Right He's now. like, check it out. This, this guy's messing up all my boys. <laughs> stomp. Curb stomp. Have you not gotten your, like, face grading? It's a face, grading? A face grading, I know. I didn't see it, didn't see it pop. It's because I'm not doing any fights and sub stories and yeah, not really leveling. Maybe. Wrecked your crew. Classic claps. Sasugaya. So go so go no udeki ki tsure dekita tsumori ga konai wa sari yarare de mato wa. Mada ude wa ochite hen yo desu na. Sa, honto no toko hanashite morau ka. えっと。何の話でしたっけ?ふざけるな。第五の居場所だ。お前も国道なら。潔く口を割ったらどうだ。怖いな。その居心でもええですやん。時間はたっぷりあるんですし。これは Let's be like straight talk. So the purchasable clan cards, I don't know. Again, I don't know. Marketing's got to figure out what the I don't know what the details are. But the purchasable ones are like they're like kind of 
single player game breaking. Yeah, they would literally. They like the you. Game. If you bought them, you just just blow through the client creator like super fast stuff. because it they're so OP. So, okay. So, where's our? Here's our. So we can make them. We can remove them because they're game breaking. We can give them out for free so everyone can use them for nothing. But that's not really what the original intention of the devs was. Or we can put them up there for people who just really want to bowl through it. And you're like, I'm willing to, you know, like, break my game. I'll pony up to break my game so I can save some time and blow through it. That's kind of what it is. You know, like... You, you don't we, need them. You absolutely don't You don't, don't need them. It, it's not... They're like... Because they're like SSR versions they of are exi the, existing yeah. cards, right? Yeah, yeah. basically. Whoa. <laughs> So, I mean, that's kind of what it is. I don't know if that's an acceptable answer, but... Um. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that messed up suit. What? <laughs> It's not word I know. Oh, Alright, so he's saying that the other people we know how that turned out. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's just like the whole He just like, I got a time for this politics stuff, man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, 30 minutes. Why? How could you be Omi Lieutenant and Tojo Clan Headquarters Chief? Ah, uh, came down from the top that he had to do it. So who's the seventh chairman? The guy who's dying. Oh, okay. Oh, I said we're going to give you one of our boys. Mm -hmm. So we're like all on the same team kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, that happens. That happens. So the question is, does the clan creator stuff work similar to, to the, uh, another drama in Weiss 5 and Money Island? Right? It's meaning, very similar. Meaning that yeah, there's a, there's a storyline that attached to it, and as you progress through it, you unlock. You unlock dudes, dudes join your team, you can just go around town scouting for more dudes. Yeah, and, and like it's important, like one of the, the, the thing about the clan creators, it's all based around this um, this like pro Japanese pro wrestling people in it, and it's all like connected. Evil gang of justice. Single gang of justice. So. And you can uh, you establish, you have a Kiryu, Kiryu clan hierarchy that levels up as you go, so you can assign like a captain and a... Um, some lieutenants and soldiers and those guys and the chief of headquarters and all that kind of stuff which was actually pretty challenging to yeah. localize but yeah <laughs> actually on my twitter account you can actually I actually use the, the Kiryu clan icon as my twitter icon right now thank you Scott uh, so if you guys want to like tag yourselves as Kiryu clan people you can use my Kiryu clan icon on my twitter account so. At Sam underscore Mullen. Yes, Yakuza 6 is platinum. I wouldn't call it easy, but it's the easiest that perhaps Yakuza has ever been. Uh, because, not, Namely because you don't have to complete the uh, completion list. You can get it at 100 items off the completion list. But you will still have to play like 100 battles of Clan Creator. You've got to make do all the mini games. You've got to, you've got to experience Yakuza 6 yeah. to platinum. It's still, it's still like, a, like a close to 100 hour. Yeah. Like, it does ask for a legend thing. There's kind of a, a exploit you can do to get that legend trophy because you can change the difficulty level at any time. So, hey, that's there. 
We actually told them to fix that, and they were like, it's fine. <笑>そう。大宮五代目ゴーダ神の時代からただの一度も登場。Awesome. <laughs> Oh! Oh! <laughs> Zing! Yeah, the, the car chase on Legend in Kiwami is... Yeah, that's, uh, that's, 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 the, that's legend. That's, that's that is legend. Separates the men from the boys. Yeah. <laughs> それも全て事件の先に桐生和馬という男が追ったからです。それは違う。登場会を守ってきたのは第五です。これは自分のやってきたことにけじめをつけるために力を貸したにすぎない。This is cool stuff. This it, it does play in Yakuza 6, like the relationship between Daigo and Kiryu. While, while somewhat non-obvious from the... From it's the, under the surface the whole time. The whole time, but it's there. So a lot of motivation. Because at the beginning of Yakuza 6, Daigo's in jail. And he's still the head of the Tojo clan. So that's it's important to understand that though, and it's understated in the beginning, but the point is, is that the boss of the Tojo clan throughout the entire Yakuza 6 and from that point, like, it's basically leaderless. It's like a power vacuum. And so a lot of what happens in, in Yakuza 6 is about these, like, people from the side who are starting to try to step into the power vacuum uh, that's there because Daigo is not at the helm. Um, and what, is it, and, and Kiryu gets out before Daigo? Is that what it is? Kiryu, Kiryu goes to jail for three, for three years, comes out, and Daigo has already gone to jail. During that period, yeah, something happened. He, yeah. Oh, he gets, uh, yeah, something happens and Daigo's yeah. in jail. That's all. That's actually all in the, um, like the first couple, of, like hour and a half. Yeah, it's in the demo. Yeah, it's in the demo. So, I mean, like that's part of the the, the underlying thing about what's going on. So, so again, Kiryu and Daigo's like relationship is very very critical, and we we talk about that uh, on the experience site with the comics, and we hope you guys have kind of picked up on that uh, to understand that that's really important. Um, so, yeah. Uh-oh. No. Are going to fight? No, he's not going to fight him here. How do you feel, Kiryu? Kiryu-han. I understand the story. That's why I'm going to return to the Tojo Kai. I'm going to kill you with Daigo. I understand the story. I don't understand the story. Thanks, Raijin. This is intense. Moshi Matojima Shindaga. Tojo Kaiwa Naibu Hokai Srutakia. Shinitaino take to Tatakote. Naniga Ixaya. Naniga Kokuya. Vasini Tocha Kinka Sweetia. Whoa. It's kind of goes back. Kinda, it's, it's kind of set enough to like sort of retreat the three types of yakuza and yakuza zero. Because each one of the each one of the lieutenants yep. represents a different type of yakuza, a different motivation. Uh, Thanks for coming to my TED talk. So, <laughs> once like one's money. What is it? One's money. One's power and one's like politics, or like the like the violence, money, violence, and politics. Yeah. Basically, like the three yeah. types of like yakuza guys. So, unless you guys piece together who which ones which. 
so Plexi Fire is asking if I struggle playing karaoke due to being colorblind. No, because I don't rely on the colors. I rely on the on the symbols. This guy did Miku. <laughs> it's not a color thing. It's a, it's a simple thing for me. I think it's wild that people are like rely like they look at the the karaoke or even a Miku and think color to color on my controller. That that is wild. Like why would you not use the shapes? Aren't the shapes <laughs> that much more obvious than the color? But yeah, I mean I guess. You know, it's not. Uh, I just look at that. If it's a triangle, it's a triangle. If it's an X, it's an X. Um, I couldn't even tell you what the colors on the buttons are. Could you? Could you, without looking at the controller, could you tell me what colors each button is on a PlayStation controller? The square is pink. The triangle is green. The circle is orange. And the X is blue. Wow! Wow! <laughs> so. It's the I am brand. That's the Sony brand. You should, any anyone who's like familiar with Sony branding. That's the, that's, that's the colors. Like the oh, I guess so. <laughs> I couldn't even actually tell you the colors on a controller, let alone tell you which controllers <laughs> apply to which buttons, uh, just because I've never bothered to like memorize it because it would. It's not like something that jumps yeah, and that out. Yeah, that shit. You just we just missed some fucking hotlines on. What that. was that? Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we, is, there a, is there a rewind function? No. <laughs> Damn it! What did we miss? Oh, that should have been on the wall at the gallery. To you, being a yakuza is a way to die. To me, it's a way to live. Oh my god. Hear you. <laughs> yeah, what was the, so, so we had Sato-san uh, over for the art show, and what we were, during one of our interviews, like, he dropped, at the end of the interview, he dropped this, like, beautiful line, and it was, like, to the effect, uh, I think it's in, in one of one of the videos we, we up done. I don't know how it got translated, but but at the time, I had to interpret it in live form, but basically, he was asked to, like, condense uh, what is what what is a yakuza game? What what are the yakuza games about? Into like a single like a single sentence or like a word. And basically, what he said in Japanese was like, yakuza yakuza is is a story about serious dudes doing silly shit. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Yep. It's I never imagined being able to to summarize yakuza in a single sentence, but he. He's the general producer, of course he can. That's of course he could. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was pre pretty incredible, actually. I was thoroughly impressed. Woo! Text. Text. Yeah, flexion fighter. Like puzzle fighter, like is impossible. It's impossible for I, I literally cannot play. It's impossible for me to play puzzle fighter. I actually remember the first time I ever played puzzle fighter. I sat down and with my buddy. This is probably like in college. I sat down pro and tried tried playing it, and like, and, and like he was killing me. And I was like, at the end of like the second match, I put, he's like, dude, you suck at this. And I'm like, well, I don't understand the rules about like what connects to what. And he's like, you just match the colors, dude. And I'm like, well, that's what I thought. But then I got ones that are matching and ones that aren't. There's obviously some other rule to it. And they're like, no, dude, you just match the colors. And I'm like, I was like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me <laughs> confirm one thing. Are there three colors in this game or is there more than that? They're like, no, man, there's four colors. And I'm like, oh. And I just, like, set the controller down. And I was like, y'all have fun with this. <laughs> because the light green and the yellow look the sa exact same to me. So I can't. Like, it's, imp it's impossible. Like, an impossible game. I'm getting a map at some point. Ah. I skipped it, but I believe we're raiding the Fukuoka uh, Yakuza headquarters at this point in order to see if they kidnap that go. Yeah, and at the top floor is going to be that the Fukuoka boss dude and his yes. like, and the dude in the red Yahata. Yahata. You've got, you've got Yamagata. Yama, Yamagata or something, something like that. Like that. Yeah. 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 What up? What? Oh, I have a bench. <laughs> it's a long table. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I want. Oh no, did I break it? Yeah, I remember. I remember when during the localization, like, like I, last time I mentioned how like the, um, the enemy names were like a problem and not really translated to like really the last minute. And I remember. I seem to recall the weapon names having a similar issue. Like, oh really? Like we couldn't find. We had like the weapon text, but we couldn't figure out like why the weapon text wasn't actually making it into the ROM and it was causing all these issues. And, like, yeah, so uh, yeah, uh, Ry Rijon, like, 
the reason right light green and light light yellow look the same if, if that's a thing that happens it's because you're green green weak and it means that the green color in the light green isn't jumping out at you and it, it, basically your eyes aren't responding to it as strongly as some other people and so that's why if you can't see the green and light green it just ends up looking yellow because because you, you're because it's just not popping off up into your eyes so yeah same thing with red so like for example I have sometimes issues uh, not being able to tell the difference between certain purples and blue because I can't see the red in the purple and if you take the red out of purple it's just blue right so blue and blue and purple can look similar to me sometimes is this guy still who are we looking at oh <laughs> come on man die already Oh. <laughs> I really wanted to, but no. In the face. <laughs> no, kick the door, kick the door. It's the only way we know how to open doors, right? Yeah. Meet or with other people's heads. How these like Coco guys are all in this like super nice place, but they're also wearing. Like, I know. <laughs> it's casual, it's like business casual for Coco. <laughs> yeah. Hardest boss in Yakuza so far. What's your? What's your? What's your? Uh, Arase. Which who's in? Is that Kiwami, the the, oh. gun guy? Oh, the gun guy? I had a lot of like. <laughs> For me, it would be like probably Lao Kao Long. And Nox the Three, like, I don't know, man. That guy gave me so much damn trouble. I, 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 still, I still feel kind of like, like a little bit of PTSD for that. <laughs> but then I watched the video of someone, and someone like no, no hit killed him or whatever. That was I'm just, amazing. I'm just like, what? But yeah, man. I hate, I hate Lao Kao Long. <laughs> the F that spear, guy. the I, I swords. Hate, I hate he's, that. He's oh, the swords. Oh, God. Oh, flashback. <laughs> Oh, I hate him so much. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. 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 With his, with his infinite supply of like, MIA uh, soldiers. The missing in action. Doste. Sonda Koto. This guy has basically just reversed all of Daigo's work to make an ally of the, of the Yamagata family. Yamagata family. And it's not, yeah, man, it's not good. Kiryu ain't gonna stand for people like not giving da giving Daigo the respect he deserves. Ooh, oh man, not the words you want to say. Not in front of Kiryu, man. Kiryu's not gonna Kiryu's not gonna stand for that. Yeah, and he's got a lot of problems with.俺の考えは至って Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to take off his shirt. <laughs> did you guys see the un unboxing video? John and Lauren did, a, did an amazing, like, <laughs> thing in the unboxing. If you haven't watched the unboxing video, you should. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, don't make yourself jealous if you're not getting that. If you're not getting it, though, don't, maybe you don't want to watch it because you're going to get jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
仮にも登場界のトップの人間だそれでもお前撃つというのか well, just stole, you just like kidnapped the, 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 the、uh, chairman so yeah you're setting the example bro you lead you know Keep setting the controller down, it's like bye 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 bye. <laughs> What happened? I don't think you shot him. Oh! 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 ああ。Hot mess. I'm like, Sam, Sam, let me just go and tweak a few things here. <laughs> I'm always having to be like, is this color the same? <laughs> 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 Come on, Aoyama. Come on, Aoyama. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a colorblind advocate in the game industry just because, like, it sucks when you can't play. Sam Mullen's colorblind clan. You can't, you can't, uh, it sucks when you can't enjoy a game because someone didn't think it through all the way. It's my one little, like, handicap issue or whatever, you know, like, accessibility. Damn, he just knocked that old man out. The frame to cure you! ありがとうございます。こいつらがまだ歩く道を。ありがとう。親父。親父。おい、救急車。はい、親父病院に運ばんか。あ、そう、そう、あ、the <laughs> 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 The translation was done by the same people. The only difference with Yakuza Zero is that we did our sort of pass on top of the original localization. So the baseline team is the same between Yakuza 5 and Yakuza Zero, but we did some some stylistic, like new age changes and new things. Like we started adding like the I basically rewrote Majima, and he wrote, rewrote <laughs> Majima.、Uh, so, yeah, but but essentially the process between Yakuza Zero or Yakuza 5 and Yakuza Zero was different. ジバサシタとは貴さん。違う。と言いたいところだが。今は納得してもらえないだろうな。言い訳はよか。きっちりここで玉取っちゃうけ。そう、ヒスカットです。This <笑> guy <笑> Good, good tunes. <laughs> Need some fire behind us, dude. Need some fire. <laughs> we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna probably gonna feel the heat at some point. We have to tell Brian. I tell Brian we need to have some kind of like toggle thing where we can like have fire or some blue aura or something like when we're getting serious. We gotta figure out. That'd be pretty amazing. Yo, EJ, we gotta figure that out. We gotta do that. So we get into a, into a battle, we can like turn it on and have like three stages of like <laughs> little fire, like blue fire, orange fire, red fire, or something like oh, that. Oh, that'd be amazing. Some, some effects coming off. Yeah, we gotta figure that out. For, for, the, for the future reference. Maybe a little heat icon. Yeah. Like, push the heat icon, we'll hit it. Oh, that'd be amazing. Hit it. And then, or something like that, right? Throw up the, some Kiwami overlay or something like some Yeah. Extreme, some extreme. Alright, Brian. 
your Brian, task Brian, is Brian, Brian, he's like, he's like, I'm on board. He's like, I got it. <laughs> your task is set. Yeah. Brian will figure it out. Brian, Brian has all the good ideas. He says he's getting to it. I wonder if, I wonder if this, if, if maybe some of you streamers out there can tell us, like, how does, um, for, uh, for, uh, what's it called? What's, what's the software we use for this thing called? Um, for XSplit? If you guys know how to, like, run, like, like, animated GIFs or something, like, as a background, maybe we can do it that way. Fire. I make them. Well, you do it low tech wise. We just like I'll just cut out some lightning, use some crayons and colors of fire, <laughs> and I'll just put it up under here like this. Oh, make fire. some crackly noises. Making crackly noises. <laughs> well, uh, or you could just like get some of that like, uh, like the fireplace footage and just throw it behind us. Blow it up. There's a fire behind us. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Essence of the Dragon King. Kiwa. He's almost dead. Man. Got this? We got this. I can't believe there's no feeling. Oh god! Oh no! I just oh, no! no. Uh -oh. oh no. It's got clocked, man. It's got clocked. I panicked. That, on, wait, on your, on your bar here? That, that top thing is like a, that's your, oh, that's your experience. That's the extreme. That the, 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 this? No, no, no. The, the, the thin bar across the oh, top. Oh, yeah, 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 That's your experience, yes. right? Right, I think this is. We're getting close. Yeah, we're close. But... Oh no! I well, you gotta get speed. out. You gotta get out. Yeah. This is getting close to the end of the end of the chapter. Like, we're kind of almost there. Yeah, we are. But there's like a whole other section, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Basically, you get out of this, and I think it's a blank section, and then you have to go to the port. Is it not? Is it not? I think it's that quickly. Is it? Is it? Not? I guess we'll find out. Or do you have to go do the whole uh, my? Yeah, some, side thing. Something, something like that. Yeah, yeah some right. Bed, yeah. There's, some, there's some nonsense between there. Come on, there's Yaku. <laughs> <laughs> One wasn't enough. Bad at Cosmo Kiryu. You don't, man. It make, makes you miss that, um. Kind of makes you miss the, uh. When Yakuza 6 so you pick these up and just like. Yeah. <laughs> swing <laughs> around. Like one of the best moves I love in that, that game. Move. I love that move. It's just, uh, it's just it's such a. AoE damage. Because it doesn't damage. really do that much much damage, but it just like gets dudes off your back. Yeah, it's, it's like. like crowd control. It's important. <laughs> It's like some kind of like uh, <laughs> screen or mini wall. It's like a separator. I'm excited for yet Valkyrie Chronicles 4. I, 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 I want to play it too. I'm excited. I admit. We actually um so just to kind of give you guys sort of like a sneak peek on some of the upcoming content for Sega Live. We're actually going to be doing probably like a Let's Play uh, for Valkyrie Chronicles 1, like as we get closer towards that game's like launch maybe in the summertime so we'll probably circle back around and like share some stories and like talk about Valkyrie we'd love you guys to come in and like you know participate in that as well um, bring your stories about the series and all that um, so yeah stay tuned for that anyone in chat play like check out the Japanese demo or import the Japanese PS4 version like to hear about what your experiences with that. Look at these red coats. Red coats. <laughs> Coming up out of nowhere. Red shirts. <laughs> have been a thing. You can't rock by a Daruma oh that big God. and not have it be a God. thing. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> you just 
fully clear out all those dudes in one go? Is that all of just happened? Majima level. What? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Like I've we've been saying, guys, like Yakuza 5 has the <laughs> best heat action. It has like the best heat action for sure. Like you want to see, you want to see, you know, max level heat actions. You get yourself on some action. Yeah, that was that was like demon fire. As oh, that's right. Fire. So yeah, that's right. Uh, the guy in the chat saying, I, I remember, you have, to, like, remember you have to like walk around town and find all the Yamagasa guys? Remember that section? Uh, you know, yes. like, that so you go to the hospital, you find the dudes, and then you move on to the, the That's right. Raijan, get out. He's over here being like, let's remaster Persona 5. It can't be that hard right now. <laughs> uh, Lauren, ban this man. <laughs> Don't ban him. Don't ban him. He's cool. Okay. Now. <laughs> yeah, Flagshify. Not not only is Valkyrie Chronicles 4 getting English, getting dual audio for English and Japanese, mm. it's also getting uh, all the European languages as well: French, uh, Italian, Spanish, and German. Uh, which is sort of a. <laughs> that's incredible. Which is like uh, you know, like a that's a pretty challenging thing. Um, for us to do, and that's something we often do with Japanese titles, but we're that confident in that game that we believe that it deserves it. And, uh, and that's not to say we're not confident in Yakuza, it's just literally like a good place to do it. Yeah. We thought we, we did, there was some discussion about doing um, so, some, you know, European languages of Yakuza, but then it just opens up a can of worms because if we do one, then we, it kind of makes us have to do the rest of them, and there's no way to do it. Like, we can't. It's like, it's kind of unfair, you know? It's kind of, it, uh, it just feels so weird that, you know, like you'd have <laughs> yeah. like one game in, or one or two games in lang in a certain language, but none of the other games would ever be in those languages. It's just like, oh, fair. Oh my God, there's more. They keep coming, man. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> He, that's like a modification of his one in his beast move in yeah. where he actually jumps up and like <laughs> power drives the guy. God, there's so many dudes here. There's so many dudes. This is one of these, cla these classic Yakuza like long form battle scenes. Are you, are you okay on life? Uh, no, or are not you at okay the on like uh, healing items? I guess? Yeah, 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 we're good. <sighs> Yeah, Sonic Kick's mentioning how like uh, late games had, had more European English. Uh, so like the thing about European English, it, it's it's very interesting because it, you know, it's sometimes uh, European English uh, is best done when you're using a European J2 localization team. Because um, they can make it more authentic. It also depends on the uh, localization um, approach for the title. So if your game is set in like a like a sort of a Euro, Euro setting, it's sometimes more appropriate uh, to localize using kind of European resources because you get a bit more. Like, it, it fits the style. There was actually a discussion at one point uh, to localize VC4 using sort of European styling but since we're you since that title was localized with our internal staff over here we aren't we aren't europeans and we prefer not to, have to try to fake yes you never would turn out well you would you would having a bunch of americans try to sound european is it, it, just not going to go well um so we we all decided to just stick with the, what we do best <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kevin. 
on by. Sorry, hard to hard to pay attention to the chat when you're surrounded in redcoats. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure everyone is lovely. I didn't drink it because everyone's. It was just like everyone had put their hands all over that uh, glass at that point, and I was like, I'm. It's got people's hand germs in it. In it. It's just for show. It's just like uh, no one really eats food in the movies. You know, no one. Yeah, no, they don't really. When they have like food scenes, or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not really eating. You often they just spit it out afterwards because they, if they did that, they would just be fat. All that. <laughs> I got the front door key. Let me out. What is this knife? Oh, police baton. Oh no. Uh, Raijan, I don't know if there's a, if there's, uh, so the question is, is what's the stigma of having medieval games, like, or Europeans sound, sound British European? I don't think there's a stigma about it. It's just has, it's just a conscious, you have to, there's very specific, uh, oh, yeah, resources you have to tap to get that styling correct. Not, not everyone can write like that. Um, and a lot of the J2E, like, translators and whatnot are, 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 are that people have access to are often based in North America. Or specialize in North American oh, English, but then you get guys like doing out there doing like the Dragon Quest localizations or the Ninokuni localization. Those, yeah, and they, they, and they do it, work. but that's what and that's what their specialty is. So like you have to, like I said, you have to tap very specific teams uh, who specialize that in the in the localization industry uh, to kind of get that out of it. Um, and since they are specialized, you have to you, you got to pay for it. You got to they've got to have time to work on it. All the, all the things have to line up to make that happen. So. And, and since the Valkyrie Chronicles 1 wasn't done with that sort of European treatment to start with, yeah. it would be kind of weird to like, I mean, we, we could say the same thing with Yakuza Switch, but like to introduce that to Yakuza, uh, yeah, into VC4 all of a sudden, I don't know, oh, without like a good justification on doing so, I don't know, it's kind of, plus, plus our acting, all the actors for that game are going to be Americans because we do all the video recording here in LA, you know, we have to go to Europe and get European voice actors to do it, which we could do, but it's just the decision wasn't. I think that is it. Are we there? We're there. It's one o'clock. We just finished the chapter. Okay. Well, it is what it is. All right. So uh, we'll, we'll cut it off here. So thanks for joining us guys today. So tomorrow or next week's going to be our last Yakuza stream before Y6. Y6. So uh, we'll be playing Hadouken next week. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys haven't pick, picked up the game, go check it out. Uh, get, at least download the demo and give it a playthrough. Um, it's on PS4, uh, PSN Store right now for Yakuza 6, uh, coming out April 17th. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks, we'll see guys. you guys. Appreciate you see coming. you guys next week. Have a good one. Yeah.